the Mueller report as interpreted by a supposedly biased Attorney General William Barr said that neither Donald Trump or his presidential campaign conspired with the Russians. Trump hired Barr as his Roy Cohn to protect him. It was Cohn who served as the attorney and fixer for the infamous Senator Joseph McCarthy, the guy who looked for communists under every bed. After Barr released his three-plus page summary, House Intelligence Committee Chair Adam Schiff, D. California, made a comment that led Republicans to a bizarre call. McCarthy was not only a top political fixer, he was actually Trump's mentor and personal attorney, so it was no surprise that people had misgivings about Barr and his interpretation of Mueller's report. Schiff appeared on CBS Apostrophe Face the Nation over the weekend and claimed that the Democrats were not looking to remove Trump from office. Earlier Speaker Nancy Pelosi, D. California, had moved away from the idea of impeaching the president. She claimed he just was not worth it, according to the Washington Examiner. Impeachment is not the end game. I think the speaker has made very clear that in the absence of compelling evidence that there isn't going to be an impeachment. Senator Ted Cruz, R. Texas, claimed that Democrats had been looking for a pathway to impeachment. The extreme left in the Democratic Party, they have so much anger and hatred directed at the president that we're going to see the Democrats moving forward with impeachment whatever the evidence, they fully intend to impeach the president and they don't care about the basis is. The speaker, who has been one of the most brilliant politicians in history, defended Schiff's job as committee chair and said that Democrats aren't going to be intimidated. Her spokesperson Ashley Etienne released a statement to The Hill that read, Dot Chairman Schiff has done an outstanding job, and that's the reason why he's subject to these ridiculous attack. Democrats aren't going to be intimidated by the White House or congressional Republicans, we're not going to be distracted from securing the release of the full Mueller report and the underlying evidence, and we will continue to pursue legitimate oversight, because that's what the Constitution requires. The days of Congress ignoring the mountain of legal and ethical misconduct by this president and administration are over. In her joint statement with Senator Charles Schumer, D. New York, Pelosi said, according to the examiner, Attorney General Barr's letter raises as many questions as it answers. The fact that special counsel Mueller's report does not exonerate the president on a charge as serious as obstruction of justice demonstrates how urgent it is that the full report and underlying documentation be made public without any further delay. Pelosi continued, noting that Trump was not accurate when he said he was completely exonerated. Then, the speaker requested the full report and underlying documents. And most obviously, for the president to say he is completely exonerated directly contradicts the words of Mr. Mueller and is not to be taken with any degree of credibility. Congress requires the full report in the underlying documents so that the committees can proceed with their independent work, including oversight and legislating to address any issues the Mueller report may raise. The American people have a right to know. Schiff did say that his committee and Congress had no intention of halting their investigations into POTUS. Our obligation is to find the facts, make them clear to the American people, take corrective action, protect the country, particularly if there is evidence that the president is somehow compromised by a hostile power.